Russia wants to turn Ukrainian Kharkiv into uninhabitable grey zone. British media outlet The Economist, with reference to military sources in Kyiv, assumes that Russia decided to turn the city of Kharkiv into a grey zone uninhabitable for civilians. The Economist, in the story titled The Kremlin Wants to Make Ukraine's Second City Unlivable. The escalation had military sources in Kyiv suggesting that Russia has resolved to make the city a grey zone uninhabitable for civilians. Meanwhile, Ihor Terekov, mayor of Kharkiv, strongly refuted this hypothesis. In an interview conducted at a secret location in the industrial quarter, Terekov says residents of his city have no intention of giving up. Things were worse at the start of the war, he argues, when all but 300,000 of the city's pre-war population of 2 million people fled. How can you make a city like this a grey zone? People won't leave because they have already left, then returned. They have been tortured enough already. Terekov stated that it was quite challenging to power the city up without power stations or working transformers, but they have managed to do it. If I told you how we did it, that too would be targeted, he added. The Economist notes that many of Kharkiv's problems would be solved if the West provided more air defense systems or F-16 fighter jets that could push back the Russian fighter jets carrying the gliding bombs. It adds that Russia destroyed some of the Western-supplied Patriot air defense units that Ukraine had been using to protect cities like Kharkiv. Russia's exact intentions are not clear at this stage, though there are certain signs that it is preparing for a major summer offensive. A Ukrainian source with knowledge of the intelligence picture said Russia is currently training six divisions, approximately 120,000 troops in eastern Siberia, the article says. The Economist believes that Kharkiv is one of several possible directions for a future assault. It is not the most likely, but it has already been heavily trailed in Russian media. That might indicate a Kremlin information campaign to frighten Kharkiv residents. Or it could be a nod in the direction of a pro-war camp agitating for a fiercer response to Ukraine's frequent attacks on Belgorod, which are also causing unease in Western circles. The material says, The Economist admits that the military operation of invading Kharkiv would be an exceptionally complicated mission for Russia. Taking the city would require breaking through Ukrainian defenses and encircling it, which Russia is nowhere near being able to do. Establishing air superiority, which is not a given, and winning a bloody urban campaign, The Economist explains. Over 2,500 houses were flooded in Russia's Orenburg region, 4,208 people were evacuated from the emergency zone, according to the press service of the regional government. As of April 6, 2,556 residential buildings and 6,886 household plots have been flooded due to active snowmelt and rising river levels caused by spillways in the region. At the same time, 4,208 people were evacuated, including 1,019 children, while 427 people, including 132 children, are being put in temporary accommodation centers, the statement said. In addition, 306 farm animals were moved from flood zones to safe areas. The flood is at its peak. The situation is difficult in several territories, especially in Orsk due to a dam break. But people are safe, everyone who evacuated is warm and provided with food. Experts continue to deal with technical issues, the press service quoted the governor of the Orenburg region Dennis Passler. Officials say 10,000 residents may be in the flooding zone and up to 4,000 houses could be inundated. Work in the area of the dam rupture in Orsk continues, the Russian Emergencies Ministry said in a statement, adding that around 440 people and 217 pieces of equipment were involved in the effort Russian state media said residents of two of the three districts of Orsk were being evacuated. Citizens of the Leninsky and Savitsky districts of Orsk are being evacuated to temporary accommodation centers, the regional prosecutor's office said in a message Orsk has a population of about 230,000. The evacuees are being moved to nearby schools, the region, which includes Orsk, other Urals provinces and parts of neighboring Kazakhstan, has been hit by widespread flooding in recent days. Получается, мы не забрали. Поезжаем сюда. Постановление не поддерживает. 